Hi, I'm Father Roderick, and in this video I want to share with you five reasons why the return of John Williams to the world of Star Wars is huge and has more implications than you think. Now, I'm posting new Star Wars related commentary on a weekly basis here, so if you'd like to see more, make sure to subscribe to this channel. So, Variety broke the news that Disney has contracted famous composer John Williams to write and direct the main theme of the upcoming Obi-Wan Kenobi series on Disney+. Plus. How cool is that? He recorded the music in the second second week of February in Los Angeles under tight security, according to the sources. Now, why is this so huge for Star Wars? Let me give you five reasons. Number one, John Williams said he was done with Star Wars. After working six to eight months on the score for the ninth movie of the Skywalker saga, The Rise of Skywalker, John Williams said that he liked the idea of completing his cycle at number nine, with a wink to Beethoven, who composed nine symphonies. Disney seemed to take a different direction with the music for The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett when they hired Swedish composer Ludwig Göransson to score the series. And even though many liked his music, it didn't have the sparkle of the movie soundtracks that most of us loved. Bringing back John Williams connects this series much more to the existing movies than to the new TV series. And this may indicate that the series will have way more of a cinematic epic character than the other TV series we've seen so far. Number two, unlike Princess Leia, Yoda, and even the Emperor, Obi-Wan Kenobi didn't yet have his own theme. Even Darth Vader has the Imperial March, Luke is often associated with the Force theme, and John Williams composed a rousing theme for the solo movie for our favorite scoundrel, but not Obi-Wan. He wasn't right, like a Wookiee without a medal. Since Obi-Wan is such a pivotal character for the Star Wars saga, he deserves nothing less than his own theme. Number three, this may also indicate that the rest of the soundtrack will have a more classic style to it. Even though the composer for the rest of the series hasn't been announced yet, I wouldn't be surprised if they'd go with someone like John Powell, who I think did a terrific job on the solo movie. Number four, we know that Darth Vader will have a big role in the series, so we are bound to hear the Imperial March again. And since we know that there will be another epic confrontation, a rematch between Obi-Wan and his former Padawan, you need a strong musical theme that can counterbalance the force of Vader's musical presence in that possible climactic lightsaber battle. And it may also be fitting to bring back some other beloved themes, like Leia's theme, the Force theme, and who knows, maybe even the Emperor's theme, if the Galactic Ruler himself decides to show up. Good! <laughs> Reason number five that this is huge. Even though John Williams recently said that he may be done composing movie scores after his work on the upcoming Indiana Jones movie, he may still be composing more Star Wars related music for television. In an interview with The Violin Channel, John Williams says, I don't particularly want to do films anymore. Six months of life at my age, he's 90, is a long time. I'm much happier, as I have been during this COVID time, working with an artist and making the music the best you can possibly make it in your hands. Would you want him to return for Andor or Ahsoka, for The Acolyte or the Lando series? Or would you rather see new composers taking over from John Williams? Let me know in the comments.